Hi, Desiree. Uh, real quick, looking at your site, you have a really great idea here. And there are just some things that I think it would uh, benefit from. For one thing, this, this button, when I push it, uh, takes me up instead of down. You want to think about that. I see on your style guide you have a different logo that um, different colors, different uh, title. It's called Paul's Crew. I don't know if that was something that you wanted to emulate. It was an idea you had. I see you have a little bit here of the pause, so maybe that was your inspiration. Um, I would recommend, I, I'm not sure what this symbol is doing for you. Perhaps it's related in some way. If it is, you might want to bring it up here. I wouldn't have this gradient behind this. I think this would hold up pretty well just um, on its own. You are really good here with your tagline, uh, dog treats made from the heart. And this, you're going to want to probably put your, your logo up here. If, the thing is at that point, it does become a little redundant uh, having in both places, but um, probably you just want to put it up here and put a header here. Uh, telling us a little bit about it. Your When you have your site map, it's a little different order uh, and terminology than you have here. So you don't have shop, you have products and things like that. That's okay, but you should consider going back and changing that. What I recommend to students when you're making something on, you know, a CMS like Wix, that you can go ahead and, or any, any CMS, you can find the template that you like and create your site map from that because basically that's what you would do if you're if you're not creating your site from scratch you might as well you know use the site as it exists I, I don't see any conflict with that frankly um, in which case you would have these things would be you know they'd be consistent on your site map and your wireframe your social media is going to be really important for this type of production or this type of product go ahead and uh, make sure that those go to this one you have actually the Instagram. The rest are linking to the Wix sites. So you want to, to think about that. This uh, image, a little big, and not sure that the resolution quality is, is there yet, what you're looking for. This is at 100%. No, that is pretty similar. Okay. All right, so that I, I would work on. I would reduce that. I would remove that background. I'm not sure you need this. I would put that logo up here, and I would write a little, just a little bitty intro on that, not much. Uh, probably some sort of silhouette or photo of a dog of some kind would be good. Uh, you have these here. Uh, this, not immediately sure what it is, so I would replace that. If it is the, you know, um, one of the treats, we're not getting a clear idea here. You also want to label these and you want um, to give a little bit of a caption below. This is really nice. I like the letting that you have here between your lines. However, I think you need another, I think you need to break it into two paragraphs, right? It's a little long uh, for that. The length itself is good. The total length is, is good. I want to check out your headers here and see. Okay. Yeah, see how different this is from your about, which is here. Uh, you want to make sure all those are the same. This came with the site, probably. Okay, so locations. If you're going to have a map, you could consider having a location here and linking it there. Or bring this up a little bit, bring this up a little bit so that we get a clue that we've got location here and we can give a another uh, header for that and close this up a little bit. Okay, so you've gone ahead and you've linked up to your PayPal. Um, I think you'll want to see if you can get the background colors and things to look a little more uh, like your your brand. Keep your brand consistent here. Um, yeah, 
and just make sure you have the very best possible images that you can. Guess what I would recommend, even though it's great to see the packaging and how they're going to receive that, I would take a, a, a better photo of that against a plain background. You can also, you know, lay a piece of black felt or something or blue. Okay, so I would just work on some of the imagery and making sure that these are really sharp images for yourself. Um, the white here, I don't think it's working uh, very well. It doesn't seem to be in your brand. Um, so that's something to think about. I would think about this and this font, this sans serif, I would think about, um, or rather the serif font. I would ask myself if the serif font is exactly how you want it, and if so, then perhaps it needs to show up someplace else. A little bit of intro here, smaller image, uh, good work. You have original photos here, and that's a great thing. And you do have your shot page here, and I appreciate that. So you'll just want to uh, include some of those revisions that we talked about. And I think that you'll be well on your way. Hi, Jamal. I really like this site. I love the logo, the text that you have here. It'd be great if you could have the name of this on your style guide, though. You have the Palatino. Uh, but not this. And also, I believe you don't want that S there. I don't usually go through and uh, copy edit or anything, but I just happen to see it. This may be a little bigger and over a little, maybe. Um, I like this font. It's small, uh, but it, it matches this. And not sure if you need the number there or not. Um, I like the images you have. You want to make sure that they are low enough res, um, quality enough, but that they are optimized so that your site will build quickly enough for your pages. There's something, there's something that, that bothers me about, about this particular font, um, for this. Maybe, maybe I want to see all caps. Um, there's just something about it. Just keep looking at it because this on the white, I think you can get much uh, better icons here. I think you can find some that either maybe they have a circle, maybe a little drop shadow around the circle. Um, I feel like this is underwhelming that the size doesn't really stand up and that it's a little too bas basal for your actual uh, content, which is really kind of cool, and it's a really great idea. I, I love what this is about. Um, you have, it doesn't bother me too much that this is over the edge here. You know, you have your alignment here. This is a little over. It doesn't really bother me. You might uh, think about it, though. I don't know if you need this bold bullet. Um, maybe lighter if you're going to have them at all. Uh, this, it's always nice if you have the same number of lines, you know, for all of these things. Something to think about. Uh, potentially small for what we're doing here. I did look at your FAQ page. I love this. I think it's really great. And you definitely have your tagline here, make unique book covers for extraordinary stories. Do you have that here? You do. Uh, it's not real short, but it's short enough. And you have a nice sample. Here, kind of the same thing. This uh, serif isn't working for me here. And the color isn't working with the gray for me. I would probably make this font uh, white. And this image doesn't quite fit with the rest of your, your work. And I'm being a little picky because I think that the concept is pretty advanced. And I like it a lot. And I really want to see this come together well. Uh, also, you want to check for your mobile. You can go to mobiready.com and uh, insert that. Um, so all in all, I think you did a really great job here. And uh, if there's anything that I've overlooked or that you have questions about, then feel free to contact your instructor and we can go into more detail with you. Um, 
you do want to work on having single uh, words here, a little orphan here. Um, it's just a little edit, probably. All right. Good work. Good work. Um, yeah, anything mentioned is really just kind of personal opinion, I think, uh, because as it is, it really holds up. All right. Good work. Justin, uh, you provided a great sitemap and a great wireframe, very clear. Uh, you also provided your logo space. I don't have the text uh, necessarily, what kind of type you're using, so that's something you want to definitely include in your style guide. These are linking up. That's great. And they work well, very simple. Uh, let's see, this is a blog page in I'm thinking, okay, we have a video there. You want to make sure that all the items that you listed um, are something that you can complete. There seem to be a lot of um, assets. You got the HD video footage, uh, four to eight uh, typical shots, a shadow short film, a whole list of things like that. So, um, an original originality at its best tagline, but I don't, I don't yet see that. And that you want to put on each page. Um, because uh, it, it can be, you never know which page someone's going to be entering your site from, and you want to really let them know what you're doing. Now, a tagline, originality at its best, is more like a slogan. Your tagline is going to actually tell what this site is for, what you do. All right. So you've got your latest, and then you've got your projects. It's in a shot. All right. All right, I see you have uploaded a lot of these things, a lot of your content. Uh, this isn't, I would be consistent with have it just in one place up here if you're going to do that. Uh, if you feel you need to make it down here, okay, but I'm not sure this fits very well with your aesthetic that you have going on. Nice. Okay, and making sure that you're consistent with these fonts. Again, I don't think that's a good aesthetic. I guess I love. So here you have independent production company, and you do have independent production company here, which is a little bit like a tagline. An official site of, I don't know, if you need that there. About, you're consistent here with your titles. That's nice. And it's essential, actually. Uh, great shots. I like the way you're doing that. Okay. Um, not quite the resolution that you need here, right? And the high contrast is kind of low. Uh, this is better. Okay. A little bit of space here. A little too much there, so you can bring that up a little. Uh, maybe probably wrap that, bring this line around. Okay. Hmm. You do have to scroll a little bit to get to the important stuff here. That's something you might want to figure out. Uh, do you even need this photo? I know it's consistent with the style that you have, but. However, and I don't know, maybe you want to use this up here consistently, that font. But we really have to scroll down to get to uh, talking to you. So that's something, if you're going to have this page here, try and get that information up a little higher, right? Uh, otherwise, I would probably soften this up here. I think you can handle it. I think you're good enough to, to do that so that we don't see the drop shadow here. It's important in a lot of places, but it's a little too obvious there, so I would work on that. Right? All in all, great job with your proposal and with your site.